Hello fashion sewers and welcome to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to refashion a blazer into a cape. Here I have a picture before I started the refashion or the recycling of this boxy shaped jacket and I do think a boxy type of jacket style will be suitable for the cape because of volume. Um, as you can see the jacket's very shapeless so there's no shaping around the, the waistline or the bust area and also the fastening is kind of low down as well. So moving to the after picture you can see now there's more volume and that is just by opening up the sleeves. It's, it's quite incredible really and I also made some minor adjustments which are personal to me, um, it's not part of the project which I um, swapped over the opening to the jacket instead of having uh, it right over left I put it left over right and um, the gold buttons they just had to go so I had no buttons on it whatsoever but it is fastened by using snaps um, I was thinking about putting some red buttons on for a while but no I decided to give it just that clean look so that it had a for me a more personal shaping for a cape type jacket but as you can see I've kept the gold buttons to the sleeve so from the back it gives the illusion that once you see the front that the theme of the gold buttons follow through so um, let's move on and show you how I did it here's a close-up of what the cape will look like this is a blazer and it's a two-piece sleeve that you've been needing to work with to get to achieve this technique. And what you do is you just open up the seam and then you attach the lining to each part of the sleeve and then you'll be attaching the sleeve to the blazer itself along the princess seam line. You may not have a princess seam line but you want it to get it as closely fitted to um, that area as possible in order to get the cape effect. Starting at the end of the sleeve, using your seam ripper, you're going to be cutting away at the threads. So what you need to make sure is that you are gently cutting the threads only and pulling as you do so. And you work your way up to the top of the sleeve. Now I've opened up the sleeve and now the lining is exposed. And now I need to unpick the stitching, the overlocking stitching on the lining. Uh, the sleeve has been opened and also the lining. Now the next thing to do, as you can see the lining is pretty creased so I'm going to press that so it's nice and smooth and then it will be a case of aligning the lining to the sleeve working with whatever seam allowance you will find in these garments. So it's just a very small amount but the next step will be to either slip stitch that by hand or if you don't want to do any hand sewing you can always do it by machine. I've now pinned both sides of the sleeve, the lining to the sleeve on both sides. So I've pinned first and then I've base and the next step is going to be uh, slip stitching. So I'm going to sew mine by hand but if you want to you can also just sew it by machine. I'm going to be doing a slip stitch to my work the lining to the sleeve all the way on both sides along the sleeve and this is what it should look like. My sleeve is now complete, I've hand stitched mine and now I need to align it to my jacket. So there are different shaped jackets out there but I'm going to be using the side panel of my jacket to um, place my sleeve do you try it on and that's what I did to make sure it hangs well because you don't want any pluckering around this area here. So once you're happy with it then you just get your pins and pin it into place all the way up and then base and then you can take it to your sewing machine and you're going to go from the edge of your sleeve and sew up towards the armhole. Now I've sewn the sleeve to the jacket and I've used edge stitching and I've gone all the way up from the bottom of the sleeve towards the armhole. Just 
give you a view of what it looks like on the back of the jacket yes I've got a bit of the pocket going through there but it's a refashion so I like that detail actually and also I've kept the buttons on at the cuff area and there you have your cape blazer and there you have it my blazer turned into a cape I'm going to be uploading photos of how I styled my cape on my Facebook page I'd also like you to upload your images of your refashion makes. For the links to any of the techniques that I've used in the video, you'll find in the description. I'd also like you to visit my Instagram page. And for those of you that haven't subscribed, please do so. And I will see you next time.